model-based testing, short MBT, has never been as useful as it is today. Why? Because our world is becoming increasingly complex, a fact that is also reflected in the products we have to test. Models help to structure things and to clarify questions, and this also applies to testing. Nevertheless, MBT is still considered a topic for insiders accessible only to experts. I think that's wrong. I firmly believe that nothing is more natural than drawing a picture when you want to get an overview. But almost 20 years of experience with MBT have taught me not to underestimate the entry barrier. Therefore, I would like to explain in this video what MBT is, to what extent it differs from traditional approaches, where the difficulties lie, and how you can benefit from the approach with as little effort as possible. Traditionally, tests are a series of actions and expected results that you document in tools such as Excel, ALM, X-Ray, Azure, Polarion, or other test management software. In my example, I work with Jira, where I have a set of user stories to check. My tests are in X-Ray. To create a new test case for this user story, all I have to do is press this button. Once the test is created, uh, I give it a meaningful name and fill in the actions and expected results one by one. This process is straightforward, but it is also laborious and error-prone. To ensure complete coverage of user stories, the easiest way is to write at least one test case per story. However, this has the disadvantage that I have to automate or manually execute more test cases than necessary. Uh, I also do not test any sequences. By looking at isolated user stories, Errors that occur due to the interaction of several stories are easily overlooked. In a model-based uh, approach to testing, you draw workflows instead of manually writing test cases. Those workflows represent your test design. In fact, you visually specify what you want to check and in which order. A model-based testing tool then collects the information from the workflows and automatically generates test cases that respect the business rules you put in the workflow. Let's write, or rather draw, an end-to-end -end test for WhatsApp. First, we send a message from device A. Then, we check the notification on device B. And finally, we read the message. Again, we must specify the various actions and expected results, but we do it just once because this action will appear in all test scenarios that include this action. Two things are important to be successful. First, keep it simple. As you can see from this palette of smart testing's MBT tool YEST, we avoid any kind of formalism. A workflow consists of a start point, one or, more, um, or several endpoints, and a few elements in the middle, all linked by arrows indicating the direction of flow. Second, Describe your tests, not the system design. Models are often associated with system architecture and design, but that's not the, uh, what works best in testing. Describe your test scenarios and use this description to clarify what remains vague in the requirements. In a true shift-left approach, the model becomes part of the system specification. If you use Jira, you should install the free Jira app Yest for Jira. Yes, for Jira allows you to draw models directly in Jira, link user stories to actions, and share the picture with everybody in the project. How does MBT differ from traditional test design? First of all, it's the visualization. Visualization makes things easier. Who has the time and motivation to read through, through 20 test cases? Uh, it's much easier to look at the image. It contains less text and represents several texts in one picture. The second difference takes longer to get used to. 
Since a workflow usually comprises several user stories or requirements, the MBT tool generates a few, usually longer tests for me, each of which partially covers uh, several requirements. Instead of the one-to-n relationship, we uh, now have an n-to-n relationship between test cases and requirements. This is why MBT works better in system testing than in component testing. Another difficulty arises from the expectations. With MBT, I can generate test cases from a model for both manual and automated test execution. Test automation needs to be planned and well thought out. Companies uh, that took this step often no longer have the energy to make the actually easier step towards MBT. My hope is that AI will bring the turnaround. AI will definitely impact the way we do model-based testing in the future. For example, we currently integrate AI-based features in Yester to create visual representations of existing tests. This will streamline the transition from traditional to model-based test design. Incidentally, redundancies, contradictions, and gaps in the existing tests can be identified and rectified. Contact us to find out more about how to use models in testing, be it MBT models or AI models.